Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the advanced features of POA Network's Token Wizard tool that allows you to create your own Ethereum token and crowd sell website in just a few easy steps. I'm going to show you how to create a whitelisted crowd sale with multiple tiers that can be modified after the crowd sale has started. I'll also show you how to finalize your crowd sale and distribute the reserved tokens that were provisioned in the setup process. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and watch the previous videos in this playlist if you haven't already to learn more about how to use Token Wizard. We'll start by creating a new crowd sale. We can choose the default option, which is whitelist with cap. Next, we'll fill in the basic settings for the token. Once you get to the reserved token section, you can use Token Wizard's CSV import feature to add multiple reservations quickly. This is the kind of CSV file that Token Wizard expects. It expects a column with the address, the dimension, whether you want to reserve a fixed amount of tokens or a percentage, and the value. Once you've imported the CSV, you'll see a confirmation message and you'll see the reserved addresses in the list below. Once you reach the crowd sale setup page, you can choose to enable whitelisting. Whitelisting restricts the accounts that can participate in the crowd sale. You can enter the accounts that you would like to whitelist in the crowd sale whenever you set up the tiers below. Now I will show you how to set up your crowd sale with multiple tiers. We'll start by creating the first tier. This will be the main ICO phase of the crowd sale with a predetermined start and end time. We will leave allow modifying off for now. Once we fill in some basic settings, we can scroll down to the whitelist section to add the accounts that we want to whitelist for the ICO. We can enter these addresses manually or we can import them with a CSV. This is the CSV that Token Wizard expects whenever you upload whitelisted accounts. These columns correspond to the account address, the minimum number of tokens that the account can purchase, and the maximum number of tokens that the account can purchase. Once you've uploaded the whitelist CSV file, you will see a confirmation message and a list of the accounts that were whitelisted in the table below. Now we can click the Add Tier button to set up a second tier in the crowd sale. This tier will represent an ICO bonus phase. Here we want to turn on Allow Modifying. This will allow us to update the settings of this tier in the crowd sale once it's started. Specifically for this ICO bonus phase, we want to update the end time to allow investors more time to invest in the bonus phase. Just as a note, all of the accounts that were whitelisted in the previous tier are inherited by this tier of the crowd sale. If you'd like to add more accounts to the whitelist, you can do that here. Once you've set up all the tiers in your crowd sale, you can click continue to deploy all the contracts to the blockchain, just like we saw in the previous video. Now I'm going to show you how to extend the time of the ICO bonus phase or the second tier of the crowd sale that we just created. To do this, visit the Token Wizard homepage and check MetaMask to ensure that you are connected to the same account that you created the crowd sale with. Now click the Choose Contract button and find the address of the crowd sale you just created. Now you'll see a page that allows you to manage your crowd sale. Scroll down to the tier that we named ICO Bonus and find the end time. Here we can increase this value to give investors more time to participate in this phase. When you modify this field, you must sign this transaction in order to update your crowd sale. Now I'm going to show you how to finalize the crowd sale and distribute the reserved tokens that were provisioned in the setup process. This is the last step in the crowd sale before finalization. Once the crowd sale has ended, you can visit the crowd sale page and click distribute tokens. Once this is finished, all of the reserved tokens will get distributed to the accounts that we assigned them to. This will correspond to the fixed amount or percentage that was specified in the setup process. Now I'm going to show you how to finalize the crowd sale. 
This is the last step in the crowd sale. Once you finalize it, you cannot update any of the tiers and investors can no longer purchase tokens. You can do this by clicking the finalize crowd sale button and signing the transaction. And that's it. That's how easy it is to finalize a crowd sale with Token Wizard. Again, be sure to subscribe to the channel and watch the previous videos in this playlist if you haven't already to learn more about how to use Token Wizard. Until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.